We're back at the fall off and I still see your shadows in my room. Can't take back the love that I gave you. It's to the point where I love and I hate you. I can't replace you, so I must replace you. Easier said than done is what Juice World's mom is talking about, where people try to tell her to get over the situation that happened. But hey man, I thought you was the one. I thought you was the one that's gonna get us out the hood, and he did. But now he no longer alive. The legend did not make it past 21. Juice World was one of the best freestylers to ever exist. I've seen the man rap for an hour plus. Tell me who can do that? Now, one thing that is very unfortunate about the dance situation happened Juice World, the man was a drug addict, super drug addict. Like that documentary, I didn't know Juice World personally, duh. But that documentary that happened on HBO or Hulu, whatever, damn it. That made this man look like a drug. If there was a thematic theme to take from there, which I'm sure there was, because documentaries have things you're supposed to take from them, was that Juice World is a drug, was a drug addict. But something that's very important is also the thing that Juice World's mom is addressing and was addressing on the Tamron Hall show. The thing that's very important that needs to be mentioned here is that Juice World was a drug addict, but so was everyone around him because they were also taking the drugs and they were also providing him with the drugs and enabling him to keep being a drug addict. Now, Allie, Juice World's girlfriend, was also a drug addict. Took Adderalls, uh, you know, sniffed the, the, the Hannah Montana. She was going crazy too. Now she was trying to tell him to stop, I believe, drinking lean or what. Yeah, he was also a lean drinker. So she tried to tell him to stop drinking the lean. He would still do it anyway, because he's a drug addict. When you're a drug addict, you can try to tell a drug addict not to do something. It's gonna take them you know what I'm saying? It's gonna take them to stop. I don't know if he ever went to rehab, whatever, but you know, when you when 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 Juice World's out here doing all the drugs and and drinking the lean and making smashes, platinum songs, I think Loose World is diamond. What are you gonna tell him? That's why it's like, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of situations right now and a lot of discussion right now between like Lil Xan and his manager and stuff like that, where it's like, yo, the conversation is who is to who is to blame? The individuals for providing the rapper with the drugs or the rapper for asking the individuals to provide them with the drugs because they know they can make hit singles with them. Now, I can't put too much blame on either party because at the end of the day, you're a drug addict, you're a drug addict, you're addicted to something. Like an addiction is hard to get rid of. Excuse me, an addiction is hard to get rid of. You know, that's why it's called addiction. Addiction is not something you can just say, all right, I'm done doing it. It's an addiction, especially lean and drugs. You're addicted. You know what I'm saying? Once you do it over a long period of time, you're addicted. But the thing is, Juice World would offer. He was a nice drug addict. He was not a selfish drug addict. Based on the documentary, he was, uh, you know, sharing his carrot. He was shit like, yo, I got a perk 30. You want half? You want the 15? You want half the perk 30? You ever took one before? Hold his 30. Hold the 30 clip. Let's get lit together. You know what I'm saying? Let's go crazy together, fam. There was a point that, bro, there was literally a point. This one was, was crazy. I ain't gonna lie. This part of the documentary was like, yo, bro, this is why you kind of got to, you know, there has to be people that are not just yes men in your circle when you're a popular rapper because the man was clearly already off of being, him and his girlfriend off of being. He wake up from being in a stupor after, you know, literally falling asleep on himself while he's trying to talk. The cameraman is holding the camera. He wakes up from, from, from being, you know, incarcerated, not incarcerated, wakes up from being like intoxicated or whatever, and then goes to, to, to hit a line. And then he offered the person by the camera some, some, some pills and the person by the camera took the pill. You just as bad because you're not making them feel bad. <coughs> Alcoholics, they always want to be surrounded by people so they can make them also be alcoholics. When they're alcoholics, they want to drink with other people and get them to drink. If you are a person that is with alcoholic and you don't want to drink, you tell the alcoholic, nah, I'm good. I'm drinking water today. You will make the alcoholic feel like a trash individual because they're the only ones doing it. These are facts. You're going to make the alcoholic feel like a trash individual because the, he or she is the only one drinking the alcohol and you're being sober. Now, maybe over the first time that may happen, all right, cool, they're probably still drinking. Say y'all go out another two, three times and you still ain't drinking with them. They're going to feel not good about themselves. Facts. So if Juice World is the only person taking these drugs around him and everyone else is sober, you think that they are, are not gonna influence him to stop? 
but everyone is enabling him because they're also doing the drugs. Everyone was drug addicts, literally. That's what Juice Wars mom is basically trying to say here, I think. But we're also gonna read the damn blurb of what happened here. Juice Wars mom appeared on the Tamron Hall show and spoke about him as well as his inner circle. She had this to say. I just felt like his best interest wasn't being looked out for, she said. I think people have their own agendas and they like the lifestyle, facts. And they were young, facts. Two, so they don't see things the way we see them. But he just didn't have the people in his place tell him to stop. Facts. He didn't have that support system in place. She also spoke about his drug addiction. He couldn't hide it because it was in his music. Facts. Uh, she spoke to Tamron Hall on the Tamron Hall show. But we were at a point where we could talk about it. We still had that relationship where we felt comfortable talking about it. And I told him if any of my fears of him overdosing, I encouraged him to speak with the psychologist he used to speak with because I arranged where they could have a mobile conversation. But he was 19 and he knew everything. She continued, and the people around him, some of them would reach out to me, but not the inner, inner circle. They were scared. You can't be scared, man. You got to tell the man to stop doing the drugs. But guess what? They were also young and they're also trying to get lit. Looks like his mom still sees the shadows of Juice World in her room and I understand. I just wish these rappers would have at least one no man. Have one person that can tell you no. You're not taking the perk 30. Leave the Zan alone today. Go sober today. See how it feels. See how it feels to not take the perk 30. But they don't got those. They got yes men who go get lit with them too. Damn it. Evaluate your inner circle. Because I'm not trying to see shadows in my room. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor Eljaz. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to EBA Music Media. Turn on the post notification bell so you know every time we drop a new video. Definitely go ahead and subscribe to Taylor Eljaz Vlogs for more travel vlogs, social reviews, and story times. Last but not least, go ahead and follow Taylor Eljaz on Instagram for more funny and satirical content. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Taylor Eljaz, and you're watching The Fall Off.